boys welcome back to another youtube video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make low poly rigs inside of blender so if you've been making your low poly characters and you're like how the frick do i rig them then this is a good tutorial for you so if that's interesting make sure to stick around and enjoy the video you got so here we have our character so what we're going to do is we're first going to go to run view, uh, run view and then i'm going to turn on my screencast key so you can see what i'm clicking and then we're going to go shift a or well, firstly we're going to go to edit preferences and then we're going to go to add-ons rig rigify so you can see rigify is here so then we're going to uh, make sure to click it and make sure it's checked and then when we're in here so we're going to go shift a and then we're going to go armature basic basic human and you can see they'll pop up this rig over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to edit mode, select these two bones, which are the pelvis, select this one, select here, okay. Um, that's all the bones we're going to delete. Then with our character, what we're going to do is um, drag this up all the way, scale it down. I'm going to... Uh, apply the mirror, mirror modifier and then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to select the feet and go shift s goes to selected and then we're going to go to object mode and set the origin to 3d cursor and then alt g okay and that will set the character to the middle uh, to the world origin okay and then we're going to delete these two bones here and then we can, so we're going to now start positioning it so let's drag this back so what we can do is quickly uh, click the rig and go to armature tab, uh, armature tab and go to viewport display and change to in front and now you can see everything's in front of it okay okay so now what we do we we can select these bones um what we're going to do is go to face mode and then select this whole ring with alt right click and then shift s curse you selected select this bone of uh, the select uh, section and select cursor okay so now we can go select this shift s cursor to selected select this shift s curse selection to cursor okay and then do the same thing here so we can select the I keep on saying select a lot. Okay, so Alt right click selects the whole edge. Shift S cursor you selected. Select the click on the armature. Select chair. Shift S select your cursor. Okay, same thing. Select these two. Shift S cursor you selected. Select your cursor. Okay then get this edge shift s shift s okay then we get we can position the whole um edge or a ring of uh bones uh to where it kind of makes sense depending on the geometry uh, like where the deformations would make sense okay and then we're going to select the shoulders or well, you don't need to do work on one side we'll mirror it later so then we can go so drag it there drag it in to where like the collarbone would be okay select the top of the arm drag it here you can select these two cursory selected uh select this one selection cursor same thing here shift s there and then same thing for the wrist select here selection cursor same thing for the hand here okay shift s selection cursor okay cool so now what we're gonna do Delete the one half. Uh, now we work on the head bones, the G. Uh, 
select these two and then control J, right? Control P, connected. Okay, we're just gonna re extrude these. So we're gonna drag this up here, extrude for neck and extrude for head. Okay. So all of these have names, so we have toe, toe.l, foot, uh, shin, la, span, span. So then we're going to start naming these, so this be um, tummy, rib cage, chest, doesn't really matter, I just like naming them, uh, neck. neck, head, okay, and then that's a shoulder, upper arm, forearm, hand, okay, so now we are going to do the hands, so we're going to select this edge, and then we're going to do the same thing as we've been doing, so we select here, and then we're going to, we're not going to extrude, we're going to select the shift D, and then we're going to select these, this, these four up here, so the front and back. Same thing, Shift S. I'm gonna be using Shift S a lot, and we let me do this again, Shift S. And I'll just skip this. And then we select the face, same thing. Extrude. Save the other side. Okay, thumb is the same thing, so you just select the four vertices, shift S, shift D, and so on, so on. Okay, so what happens if we're going to pose mode right now, if we move this hand, it doesn't move the fingers, it only moves it if we move the forearm. So we need to go into edit mode, select these three bones, select the hand, and then control P, and keep offset. And now you see the, the, these are the parent lines that they connect to this bone, not to the forearm. Okay. Let's do that again. Keep offset. And we go to pose mode and double check all of these that they have the right parenting. So that there moves. Okay. So now what we're going to do, go to edit mode, select everything, armature. Wait, next we have to quickly we're going to quickly change the names of the bones. And then now we can select everything, armature, symmetrize. And then you can see we have it sym uh, symmetrical. And everything is working. Okay, so next off, we're going to be doing an RK rig for the legs. Uh, I don't think we... Uh, Hands need to be RK rigged, but yeah, that's up to you. So I'll show you how to do the leg RK rig. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna select these two and go extrude. Select these two bones, old P, their parent. The next this first one. So this is uh leg leg RK dot L. Now this is leg RK dot R. Okay, and then we're going to go into pose mode, select this bone, select the shin, shift R, it's your active bone, then you can see this, the four, uh, the shin is highlighted, and it has this yellow line going to the pelvis, okay, so what we're going to do now is go to go to the constraints tab, and then you can see it has, here's the bone, so in the RK target. So as you can see, it says chain length. And what chain length is, is how many bones uh, this RK affects. So if it's set to zero, it will go to the root bone, which means that it affects up to the root bone, which we don't want because it moves the whole body. So if we set this to one, it only affects to up one bone. So it only affects one there. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to two because we have a two joint, uh, two bone arm or limb, and then you can see it works as intended. Cool. So now we're going to do the same thing. Select there, shift R, 
to active bone to chain length okay next off what we're gonna do is and i'm gonna leave a link to a tutorial that's like really good on how to read characters um and this whole process is taken from his video um from sebastian leg i'll put a link down below so what i'm gonna do shifty uh y and then so we have a bone completely under here and then we're gonna name this uh foot con or c d or control dot l and then we're gonna set this this bone be parented to this bone control p keep offset and now we can control it like this okay but then you can see um well what, what happens when you use this bone it moves around so if you drag it up the foot goes like that so what we have to do so now we have this bone okay still does the same thing and it disconnects so what we're going to do we can select this bone shift b keep offset so now if we go to post mode you can see it now we can control it but that's an X. So what we're going to do is select this bone and go well, so the foot and we're going to go to constraints and constraints copy location of the shin. So we're going to do shin dot L. Okay. Now you can see this puts us to the top. So what we need to do the head tail. So we need to drag us all the way. So it as at the tail of the bone, not the head. Okay. So now as you can see it does it uh we can rotate it and then pull it away and it doesn't disconnect so we can alt g another thing if you drag it up the knee's going over here so what we need to do is go and into edit mode extrude out on the y-axis alt p clear parent g y and we're going to name this leg pole target dot l and what this does is if we go into pose mode select this and change the pole target to metal rig and then pole well leg pole target dot l now you can see we can rotate it so if we drag this up you can see there so what do we need to do actually just quickly um we need to add add the pole target back in and then pole angle needs to be set to negative 90 in my case um if yours is being weird just change it but yeah so yeah and the only reason it does it uh, like this is because the leg is pointing out slightly so if you were to drag this in it wouldn't be so weird like that okay so now we're gonna have to select this the, these parts and then armature symmetras okay and now we can go to pose mode and then check if it's all working uh, yeah that all works okay so now we have a fully working rig and yeah yo guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video um on how to create low poly uh, rigs inside of blender if you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe and go check out my twitch down below where i'm going to be doing a lot of uh this game called cranker which is like a low poly game uh, if that's interesting make sure go check out my twitch while i stream and yeah, cheers.